Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush and welcome to the new tutorial from SketchUp Arcus Studio YouTube channel. Before we start this tutorial, like and subscribe our channel. Let's get to work. Today I'm going to talk about how we can change the clouds and the time of the day in the Enscape 3.5. So I'm going to right click on my toolbox and turn on the Enscape in here. So now I'm going to drag it in this place, top of my SketchUp. Now I'm going to click on the start landscape in here. We have very simple and amateur 3D model in the environment of the SketchUp. So I'm going to wait to Enscape started. Actually, if you are the first users of the Enscape, when you press H on your keyboard, you have the help guide in here. It's a little bit very short, like the instructor of something, but it's really useful for you. So. About the time of the day and the clouds in the sky, we don't have any complex and difficult settings or the changes. For the time of the day, I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and hold right click on my mouse. Now, when I move my cursor like that, very simple and easy, I can change the time of the day. You can see the exact time of the day right side at the bottom. For example, now it's about 9.26 a.m. And you can change it to the night, for example, something like that. Or now, for example, we have in the uh, 3 p.m. like that. Very simple and easy. So for changing the time of the day, I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and use the right click and move my cursor to see changes of the time of the day. So. We have some type of HDRI in here, it's for the uh, SketchUp and Enscape, it's really useful for you in your renders and it's very complex. So about the clothes, what I'm gonna do is that. If you want to change the sun position in the sky, you only need to hold Ctrl on your keyboard and press U or I on your keyboard. U or I. And you can see it's work reverse and it's not really matter which one you want to use at the first time. But you can change the sun position in the sky with these options. So for changing the uh, sun position in the uh, Enscape sky, you only need to hold control on your keyboard and use U or I for changing the uh, sun position in the sky. But for the clouds, what we're gonna do is really interesting. We have some option in the Enscape rendering engine that called Visual Setting. It helps you to manage all of your reflections, materials, image, brightness, atmosphere, sky, or other type of things in your rendering. So I'm gonna use the uh, sky in here. Actually, you can see the sun position, clouds, and other type of thing in here. We only work with the clouds. And we usually work with these three items in here, density, variety, and cyrus amount. Density is the intensity of the clouds. If I want some type of cloudy weather, I can increase the density. And you can see we have full variated clouds on it. Or if I want some clear sky, I can decrease the uh, density to the zero. So for example, some Realistic renders, usually I use some type of clouds like the 85% for the rainy renders. And if you want to make it much darker, you can increase the variety like that. And it will fool all of these empty places at the backside. Or you can decrease it very simple and easy. But variety works with the random parameters and it's not really useful in exact numbers. For example, you can use 21 in some projects or you can use 100 person in some other projects. So it depends on you. But the, uh, we have some option that called Cyrus amount. What is the Cyrus amount? It's the high altitude Cyrus is between the big clouds. If you look at these places in the sky, you can see some small clouds and they are in some ranges. For example, we have some blue sky in here, but we have some white clouds in this place. So look at this place in here. When I increase the Cyrus amount, what will happen? The density of the Cyrus will increase 
and my screen will get much darker so when I decrease them like that you can see we have some faintness on the sky and if I make them zero I only have the clouds very clear and simple so you can play with these options very simple and easy or if you want some very clear weather you can change all of them to the zero percent and the last option called the countries countries is the airplanes way on the sky for example if i increase it to the sre you can see some type of things like the rockets but it's the airplanes and it's useful in some type of urban design renders maybe but i don't use it too much and the last option is called the latitude and longitude. When you increase the density of the clouds, you will need to move the clouds on the sky. But how? You can use the longitude to move them on the X position or latitude for the Y position. And it depends on you. So, we learn how to change the time of the day very simple and easy like that so i'm going to review them for changing the time of the day i'm going to hold shift and right click and now i have the uh, transition in time of the day if i want to change the sun position i only want to hold ctrl and press i or u on the keyboard and now i have this type of sun control on it and for adjusting these clouds in the sky you only need to open the visual setting a skybox in here and you can play with the cloud parameters so i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe our youtube channel and goodbye